network being a system that interconnects streets allows the selection of several different travel paths between the start and end points. No doubt, a good road network opens up more areas, stimulates economic and social development, and brings about a host of social economic development to any community. Today's special report on BOS transportation landmarks examines the interventions of Governor Babajide Sonwolu's administration on the upgraded and rehabilitated network of roads in Alimosho local government area of the state. Efficient transportation systems are regarded as highway to economic prosperity. Growth and development cannot be created without the essential physical infrastructure that aids mobility of people, products and services. Given the economic importance of Lagos to the Nigerian economy, Governor Babajide Sonwolu's administration formally flagged off regeneration of road networks to improve connectivity and traffic within the metropolis. In September 2018, the government awarded Ishefun Camp Davis Ijar Road Network in Alimosho local government for various construction works consisting of dual carriageway, relocation of public utilities, provision of labor and bus stop shelters, provision of streetlights, as well as construction of floating concrete jetty with shoreline protection, among others. On the other hand, the Ishuti Road was awarded on the 17th of December 2019. The dual carriageway of Ishefon Camp Davis was constructed with reinforced concrete drains with a cover slab and walkway on both sides. Also, the Sawalu administration constructed the Ojo Ijo Road as a single carriageway road with reinforced concrete drains, cover slabs as walkway on both sides as well as a floating concrete jetty with shoreline protection. Often some waiting area, canteen block, parking lot, and security lights, among others. The newly rehabilitated 3.8 kilometers Ishuti Road is designed to have a water transportation hub at the end of it as Ishefo Camp Davis Ijon Liasu Ojo Ijo Highway Network of 7.639 kilometers leads to the modern jetty that will boost waterways transport around coastal communities. Ishuti Road Project was born as a child of necessity to boost food supply and accelerate growth in commercial activities around Igodu as it connects the famous Totowu Fruit Market in Ogun State. The Babajide Sawolo administration embarked on these projects given their importance to the socio-economic realities of the residents. The projects were inaugurated recently by Governor Babajide Sawolu to solve the perennial traffic congestion experienced in the area with ancillary lighting facilities, thereby improving the well-being of the people, regardless of their status. Speaking at the formal commissioning, Governor Babajide Sawolu described the projects as strategic to residents of the area as it helps them connect Ogun State, thereby enhancing business and social activities between the people of Ogun State. Governor Sawolu said the construction is also a boost to the traffic management and transportation pillar of his administration's themes agenda through intermodal transport systems. And we're deliberately building the boundary roads. We're deliberately constructing and ensuring that life around this whole area is next to none. You can see that with this jetty now, you can connect with several smaller communities, both in Ogun State and in other parts of Lagos State. And you can see that it's very strategic because it speaks on our team's agenda. Public transportation, traffic management, and all of it. So these are some of the promises we've given to you. These are some of the things that we believe purposeful governance is all about. These are some of the things that we believe that governments are meant to be doing. We're not just coming here to ask you to vote for us or to re-elect us. We're coming here and we have come back here to say to you that over the past three and a half years, you have put us in government. We have never forgotten about you. Each time, we keep coming back to Alimosho. We have done several, 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 several routes in Alimosho in the last three, three and a half years. Special
Special advisor to the governor on works and infrastructure, Aramide Adeyoye, believes that the development has changed the narrative after 12 months of initiating the infrastructure with creation of hubs for water transportation to Agbara and other coastal communities in Badagri and neighboring Ogo State. So what is coming for the first time to Shevin Camp Davis? This is a semi urban settlement throughout the growing population. And for many years, the residents along the axis have clamored for this room. Not only for the fact that it's strategic, but because of the quantum of people that actually reside there. Happily, and I'm sure today the narratives have changed for the better, courtesy of our visionary governor and the deputy governor. Interestingly and of significance is the fact that they all lead to major hubs of water transportation to Agbara, to Shefu, and other coastal communities in Badagri and neighboring local states. Further confirming the strategy of leakage with our waterways and thereby deepening our intermodal transport system. Residents and commuters speak on the impact of the road networks projects. We are very busy today for what the state government has done to us. In fact, we've been lamenting for years, but today we are uh, smiles on our face. Everybody in this city road. And we appreciate the work of the governor and we want it to, to do more. So that is why we want to second time. Before you cannot rush any emergency out of this place. The road was so bad, pregnant women cannot be taken to hospitals. They cannot go. The, the road is not motorable before. But we thank God. We appreciate what he has done. And we believe by the social of God, God will take him to, to where he's going. When we fall like this, we suffer for this road very, very well. But now when the road is okay, in fact, we thank God Almighty for the road. As a governor of court commission the road, we like it. The road is moving normal now, but the only thing that we need for the road that is they will put bomb so that it will reduce many hazards for the road. The road is known as Isitu Road, and this place, all the bus stop is known as Odo bus stop. Before they fixed the road, it was unmotorable, it's unpassable. Anytime it rains, it rains, everywhere is flooded. So thank God for the government who well, came for a rescue and fixed the road. And now the environment is okay. The uh, transportation here is okay. Everybody is really enjoying the road. We appreciate it. So you see now that uh, it's a kind of uh, business center now. <laughs> so everything is moving. You see me hanging my own clothes. So here is now okay. Presently, after the construction and everything, the place was good. And the um, people are enjoying it, you understand, and expecting more. It was bad before, and it's good now. It's very okay. So what we do need now is the bridge over the water. Or improve boating system. Because right? this canoe, they have no covering. When it's raining, it's on us. When it's sunny, the sun is on us. So we need something with a covering. That's it on this week's edition of BOS Transportation Landmarks, a production of Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. Yeah.